excuse me, September 2nd, 1835, a girl child was born to Analea Keohokalole and Caesar Kahanu Kapa'akea. The Meli Noah, the Oli that I just did, was composed and recited by the High Chiefess Laura Konia when she came to receive her Hanai this child that had just been born. Her husband was Paki. Lydia Liliu Loloku Valania Vevehi Kamakaeha O Kinau. Born at the time when the High Chiefess Kinau, daughter of Kamehameha the Great, was present at her birth. And so she had a sore eye. And this was commemorated, isn't it interesting, in the names of this child. Lydia Liliu Loloku Valenia Vevehi Kamakaeha, the tearing, the painful, the burning, the sore eye of Kinau, High Chiefess. Some say that this was like an omen of things to come, because this child spent her growing up years, many times in tears, and also in her adult life when her kingdom was taken away. This song is, is very special because it followed her all of her growing up days. And when she became queen of the kingdom of Hawaii Ne, one of her ladies-in-waiting took it and put it to the music of a hymn called Would I Were With Thee. So that chant became girl grew up in a time of great adversity. The world and Hawaii were changing. Her solace became her writing and her music, and they carried her through her life. The good, the happy, the bad, the sad, especially during the overthrow, where she said not one drop of Hawaiian blood should be shed. So give in, let it be. What is right will be fixed when the time is right. She looked at the beauty of life in her people, in her children, 
And through all of this, she gave us the greatest gift of all, the gift of forgiveness. Because during her imprisonment in that room on the second floor of Iolani Palace, she composed two of her most beautiful songs. One of them talking about the flowers in her gardens, in two of her, her places where she had her gardens. Also referring to all of us, the people of Hawaii, as her children, her flowers. And she composed this other, it is a prayer. And until the late 1900s, in the current hymnals that were printed yearly from the late 1800s, the most important verse of this hymn had been left off. The one that said, I am imprisoned. Look not with malevolence on the sins of those men, but forgive them. And so, O oh Lord, beneath your wings be our peace forevermore. And so this lady left us the legacy. Oh, ko aloha no, ai ai kalani, a o ko oya i o, he hamolele ho i, Ko unoho mihi ana, a paahau ia, o oe, ku ulama, ko nani, ko u ko. Mai nana ino ino, na heva o kanaka, a ka e hui kala, a ma e ma e no. No lie, lie, e kahaku malalo ko e hiu ko mako malu So yes, I say, Amen. And I leave you with this Olelo Noeo that says, Mae mae vale no na kupuna, e ho mae mae i na poe, which says, Pure are the ancestors made virtuous by their descendants. <laughs>